welcome to another video. It is that time of the month. It is time for my monthly unboxing. I have got my adult fairy loot and my Illumicrate box here in front of me. I know what the book is for the adult fairy loot and I'm so excited. So excited. It's such a highly anticipated book for me. Um, I'm going to have to stab it open with a pencil because I haven't bought scissors with me. So I'm just gonna just gonna get into it. Just getting into it. Um, adult Fairy Loot, if you didn't know, is the adult book only subscription from Fairy Loot, and it's a adult fantasy or sci-fi book every month. This one they did actually tell us what the this isn't the book I thought it was. Oh, this isn't the book I thought it was going to be. The book that I'm really, really excited for is next month. And I only know what that book is because Fairy Loot actually released the name rather than sort of like given clues. But anyway, let's let's get back into the excitement. The theme is My Dear Nemesis. Um, and the book is not what I thought it was going to be, but I'm sure it will still be fantastic. Yes. Oh, that is stunning. The Hurricane Wars by Thea Guanzon. That cover is beautiful. So we've got purple, front and bottom. Those edges are absolutely beautiful. Oh my god, this is so gorgeous. <clears throat> oh my god, it's even it's it's getting better and better. The hardback, this is like a almost like a fabricy feeling, but we've got gilding and just printed design there on the hardback. Absolutely stunning. We have an author letter. Artwork on the end papers. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Can I ask, does anyone else ever actually read the author letter? Because I don't. Um, I don't think I've like ever read an author letter. And not because I'm not interested in them. I should read them, but I just I just don't because I'm, I'm lazy. Okay. Let me read you out the synopsis. Talisin was left on the steps of a Sardivian orphan Sardovian orphanage as a baby. All she has ever known is the Hurricane Wars, as her people fight for freedom from the tyranny of the Night Emperor Gaharis. But are they truly her people? Talison dreams of one day finding where she comes from, her family and the source of the magic that flows through her veins like start sunlight. Alaric of the House Osinast, master of the Shadowforge Legion and Gaharis's only son and heir, has been honed into a weapon by his father. Tasked with obliterating the neighbouring Sardovian all fold, Alaric focuses on one on only one goal: extinguish all threats to the Night Emperor Empire. I can't talk. I'm sorry. With his armies and his stormships and his shadow magic, that is until he sees Talisin burning brightly on the battlefield with the same light magic that slew his grandfather, turned his father into a monster, and ignited the decade-long Hurricane Wars. He tries and fails to kill her, something about her making him pause, allowing his now greatest enemy to slip through his fingers. But a new horror emerges from across the Eversea, one that promises to cause even more devastation than the Hurricane Wars. Only Talison and Alaric can stop it. Will these mortal foes be able to come together or will they end up destroying each other and dooming the world in the process? That does sound good. It sounds like it's going to be obviously an enemies to lovers. It sounds like it's going to be like a uh, fantasy romance. I'm still just blown away by how gorgeous that cover is. Yes, I am a tiny bit disappointed that it isn't the book I thought it was, but that is a me problem because I should have known better, really. The book that I thought it was only came out last week, so it would, would be too early for it to appear in, in the fairy loot box, but I'd got it in my head. I was getting it this month. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I have got a second copy coming. Anyway, that was Fairy Loot. I'm now going to move on to Illumicrate. So Illumicrate is again a monthly subscription box um, it, which features a 
adult or YA fantasy or sci-fi. They tend to skew more towards the adult sort of side, plus four or five items. Um, so the theme is fairy tale forests. Next month's theme is anti-hero. Let's get rid of the packing. Um, okay, oh pretty. First thing I can see are these tabs with all kind of like autumnal bits on them. There don't seem to be very many tabs there. Woodland treasures page tabs, um, which artwork is by Verena Lichson. And apparently they're multiple elements from Bitterthorn, which I haven't read. This is, oh, this says it is a desk mat. I don't really know what a desk mat is. Oh, okay. Oh, actually, oh, I actually like that. This feels kind of like mouse mat material, but it's much more kind of floppy and it's quite big and long with some very, very pretty. I know I've got that upside down. Very pretty artwork. Um, and I guess you just put like your, lap your laptop on top of that. It's more comfortable to lean on. Um, I like that. I will use that. The artwork is inspired by Last Tale of the Flower Bride and it is by Kristen Engelberth. Um, before we get to and take out the two things that, the last two things, we've got another sword. Um, if you've seen any of these other unboxings, you'll know I, I don't like these swords. I just I just don't, I don't like them. Um, this is a Nightfell replica from the Cruel Prince. It's got like these oak leaves on it. It's quite stabby this one. I might use this one as a new, new stabber instead of a pen. Um, honestly, I just don't really like these swords because I don't know what I would do with them. Um, they're not something that I'm personally going to ever display. Um, so they're, for me, I, I see that there is, you know, like quality and people do really like them. But for me personally, I'm just not interested in them. And then finally, we have this square notebook. Up. Um, this is inspired by Once Upon a Broken Heart. And it says on the cover for finding dreams that don't exist yet. Um, it is just a blank dotted notebook, but you've got a um, elastic holder and a pen holder as well. I really like that. This feels really good quality. It's the kind of like faux leather feel, which I like. Yeah, I like that one. Finally, the book. So the book is After the Forest by Kel Woods. It has got all of this very, very beautiful bronze foiling on it. Again, green top and bottom, but a very pretty stenciled edge on the side. It's kind of got like a forest scape with like kind of different colors of green in the background and then the, the yellow over the top with the bear in the middle. Um, it is another very, very pretty book under the cover. That's really stunning, actually. End papers are also stunning. And the synopsis that I'm just going to read out. Ginger, honey, cinnamon, flour. 20 years after The Witch in the Gingerbread House, Greta and Hans are struggling to get by. Their father and stepmother are long dead. Hans is deeply in debt from gambling and the countryside lies in ruins, its people starving in the aftermath of a brutal war. Greta has a secret though. The witch's grimoire, secreted away and whispering in Greta's ear for the, last, for the past two decades. And the recipe inside that makes the best gingerbread you've ever tasted. As long as she can bake, Greta can keep her small family afloat. 
but in a village full of superstition, Greta and her mysteriously addictive gingerbread, not to mention the rumours about her childhood misadventures, are a source of gossip and suspicion. And now dark magic is returning to the woods and Greta's magic, magic she is still trying to understand, may be the only thing that can save her if it doesn't kill her first. Cute. That sounds that sounds really good, actually. I'm wondering if they're going to have actually put a gingerbread recipe in the back. Sometimes they do. Doesn't look like they have. That sounds really good. I'm I'm excited by that one. Um, I think my favourite item. Let me throw my box away. I think my favourite item from the box is probably the notepad. Um, although this is an odd shape, it is quite big and square. I do really like the desk mat as well. But let me know what your favourite item was. You can see my camera is flashing. Let's wrap this up quickly. Um, so these are the books. Let me know if you have read any, which ones should I prioritise. Um, if you like this video, please leave me a like, subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.